Oh, hi folks, it's uh, Jake um, tonight. Um, normally my dad uh, shoots for this channel and like you'll see me in the videos, you see me welding yesterday and stuff like that or the other day and uh, I just wanted to shed some light on another one of my hobbies, that's 3D printing and what we have here is a Voron V0. Um, it's in an unfinished state. Um, the, the reason why it's unfinished is it still needs some wire loom around the umbilical cable um, and the enclosure is not totally assembled and, and put on it for printing ABS, but I'm just printing some basic PLA right now. Um, and in case you guys don't know what Voron is, because I'm not assuming a lot of people that are 3D printing enthusiasts watch this channel, um, what it is is it's, it's a... It's basically a team of guys that release all the designs to 3D printers for people to build. And this being the smallest, most compact one, um, but still very capable. They're, they're basically Core XY motion system 3D printers. Um, as you can see, they're fairly fast. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically kind of like the lowdown of it. It's got a heated bed. Um, it's printing at 200 and... 10 degrees right now because it's printing a material called PLA. Um, it'll print up to 250, 260 degrees for ABS when it's enclosed. Uh, what else? Um, it's on linear rails. Sorry to say I'm so much. It's been a long day. I'm tired, but uh, it's on linear rails. You can see the belt motion system there. Um, it's pretty mesmerizing to watch it work. And how what Core XY is is it's basically the motion is shared between these two motors for X and Y, so they work in opposing directions to give the um, to, to get the motion path for the tool head going, right? And then Z, if we come down here to the bottom of the printer, which is also on dual rails for Z, um, it's on a lead screw, and there's a stepper motor underneath. Um, you can see up under here, there's some of those love 221 wagos that ever i think the 221 wagos that i've got terminated for the silicone heater mat for the heated bed um and i it's printing right now at about 5,000 excels um so it's moving fairly quickly i would spin around and show you guys the electronics but i can't do that right now because it's printing and i figured i'd like to do the video with it printing uh, and just to give you guys an idea how quick this thing is. And it's not tuned or anything. There's there's miles of tuning you can do with these things. Um, starting off with calibrating the extruder motor. And then going to um, extrusion multiplier, pressure advance. Uh, what else? And then you can get into resonance tuning. So these things can have accelerometers put on them. And you can tune something called input shaper in it. It will basically um, cancel out the vibrations because these vi at these higher speeds of vibrations will start to actually mirror in your print. And inside of that tool that the community is using to do their in input shaper values, there's a tool called Belt Shaper. And that allows you also to frequency tune your belts to match so that the belts are matched in frequency um i haven't gotten that far yet in my journey with these machines i'm planning on doing it very soon but for right now for belt tension uh i i use this wonderful tool right here and that's by a fellow called uh get to focus there pf makes and it measures the tension of the belt and all this is documented the community is very helpful. Uh, it's this machine has a detailed bill of materials. Um, you can buy. Uh, you get. I, I purchased this as a kit. And they call it a bomb in a box. So basically, it's a company has gone out for you and gathered all the parts, and you just pay a lump sum, and all the parts show up in a box. But as you notice, there is 3D printed parts on this to make it work. Now, they're made out of ABS, and at the time of me building this, I didn't have the capability to print ABS, so uh, there is fellows on some of the online servers and stuff that will print the parts for you. Now, this build does have some of my printed parts on it now that I am printing ABS with another printer, 
Uh, but at the time, uh, like I said, I purchased these parts off of a guy. He printed them out for me. And any of the parts that are 3D printed on this build are, um, are, were his at the time. The front cowl cover on the mini stealth burner is mine. There are part of the reason why it's not enclosed yet is if we kind of pan over and come to the back of the machine, that umbilica setup, it's fairly handy. It, it, it With the breakout board, it makes wiring the tool heads a lot easier, but I am considering going to a full cam bus setup, which would eliminate a lot of those wires and just give me the 24 volts, so the positive and the negative and the can high and the can low, like I have on my other machine. Because mostly just to further simplify the wiring, and I do plan on like uh, going to like experimenting with different tool heads on this. This is the the stock, the actual Voron mini stealth burner. So this is the stock tool head for the for the Voron Zero. It's called a mini stealth burner. It's a scale down of their full size tool head on their bigger machine stealth burner, and. Uh, it's very good so far, but there are ones I think that expand a little bit on, and they they edge it out a little bit in some ways. Uh, beefier cooling fans and stuff. Like it's a journey, and the saying in the community is that you don't build a boron, you build your own. So they they release the the BOM and very detailed instructions and then you can feel free to veer it away from stock there's hundreds if not thousands of mods you can do on these machines and you can just like basically mod them to your heart's content so there's like the list of things you can add to this machine it's in a primitive state right now it's basically just the bare minimum to have it printing um i will obviously continue on with the journey and uh, if you if, if this video does well, I have another machine that's behind me out of shot that uh, I'm working on. It's called a switch wire, and it, it it's not like it was. The machine did not start out as a Voron, but it will be basically a Voron by the time it's done. And uh, that one I'm looking forward to finishing. It's well underway, about three quarters done. And it'll be interesting to get that one going too. I really like messing with these machines. Um, they challenge me electrically, mechanically. Uh, and I know that a lot of people on my on my channel or my dad's channel aren't going to be into this. But like, if 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 this video piques any of your guys' interest, like this community does an incredible job of like documentation and and they're very helpful that if anybody does decide to embark on building one of these that like they try and do everything they can to make sure you're successful so uh it's a great community of guys and yeah just a little ramble about it um basic rundown here over here if i kind of slide over to my computer i don't have screen capture capabilities i, I haven't got that far into it yet but this is the this is basically the interface in which I can control the printer on my on my desktop desktop computer. And if I go down here and go to Orca Slicer, and I know this is going to be really primitive, um, here's the programs that the one of the programs that we use to slice the files and everything. And I'm doing a Lego cal a Lego calibration brick right now. And there's the basically the, the stock profile for the V0 in here and some of the speeds and, and basically all that stuff. So anyways, I'm trying not to be too shaky here. I'm shooting this freehand. Um, yeah, so far really happy with this build. It has a 120 millimeter build plate, so it's very, very tiny. Uh, but it, it's been a blast. It's just fun to watch it uh, do its thing. It's so quick. So much quicker than my, my other Cartesian machine. Um, this Core XY motion system, they can be pushed to really fast speeds. It's a very efficient motion system when it comes to to being quick. And this is this is a very deep rabbit hole. So if you have a bit of addictive personality and you do get catch this bug, uh, you will spend a lot of time. Like I, I honestly could spend most of my time working on these things. I just find them to be an absolute blast. Frustrating at times, but... A blast. Anyways, guys, good night. Uh, just wanted to 
I guess have like just kind of shed some light on another one of my hobbies that I'm into. Um, obviously, I think you guys know now we like to keep busy. But uh, anyways, um, uh, don't don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button, and we'll see you guys later.